have a different plan or better plan uh, with that index. So there's a separate feature that we have done in IDS version 11 that I'm going to talk about a uh, little bit later uh, regarding automatic re-preparation of the index. So previously, in under this circumstance, the prepare statements uh, used to return 7, 10 error if you try to execute those uh, uh, statements. Uh, in IDS version 11, we automatically detect those uh, situations and uh, re-prepare the statements uh, for you. So there is nothing that uh, application needs to do. So those are the kind of the best uh, case scenarios in terms of application development. Uh, the changes that are in the server, wherein you get the benefit without having to do any changes. So the takeaway from uh, the first two bullet points is IDS will create uh, this equivalent of uh, high statistics for the leading key of the uh, index. It's, it's collected in all uh, cases for the basic uh, data types uh, that IDS supports. Uh, and we also do the equivalent of update statistics uh, low so that the optimizer starts using that, start using that index immediately. The third thing uh, you've done is to introduce a new parameter to update statistic statement. This sampling size parameter allows you to specify the minimum number of rows that the IDS server should sample to create the distribution. In the first example of update statistic statement, you are giving sampling size as 500. Basically, this is specifying that the sampling uh, algorithm should sample minimum of 500 rows. So, as you know, previously IDS calculated the number of rows to sample based on resolution and confidence. So, yeah, now you can give uh, uh, sampling uh, size as an absolute number so that if the uh, calculation from the resolution and confidence comes to, let's say in this case, uh, the IDS calculates the number of rows to sample is 300. Because you have specified the sampling size to be 500, it will sample 500 rows. You can not only give the sample number of rows to sample in absolute numbers, but you can also give in terms of percentages. So uh, any number between 0, uh, 0 to 0. 0 0.99 uh, will be will be treated as a percentage, whereas uh, uh, absolute uh, uh, numbers will be treated as uh, number of rows. You will see additional columns in sys strip and uh, sys tables. Let me talk about sys strip now. Sister step has these new additional columns. Sample size will contain the sample sampling size parameter that you specified. Uh, if you did not specify that, we'll save 0, 0.0. Number of rows sampled is another column which represents the actual number of rows IDS sampled to create the distribution. Constructed time is a date time year to fraction 5 basically it saves the actual date and time the distribution was created note that system already has a column called constructed date but the date itself is uh, insufficient if you happen to have a system where you had to co collect collect the statistics multiple times within the 24 hour duration and the last column that we have uh, added to this system is UST and rows which saves the number of rows in the table when the distribution was created. This gives you a sense of uh, the time, the state of the table at the time the distribution was created versus the state of the table right now. It doesn't give you the complete information but it does give you a rough picture of things. Let's look at an example of uh, contents of this system. Uh, you see the last four uh, columns here. 
for the update statistics uh, that we issued uh, above for the table uh, stock uh, with the sampling size 0 0.5 it saved uh, uh, rest of the information that uh, default resolution and default confidence and um, it uh, also saved uh, the sampling size that you specified sa number of rows sampled and constructed time uh, and uh, number of rows in the table in this case yeah, IDS decided that it's best to sample uh, all the rows in the table uh, to collect the high statistics or, or in this case medium statistics okay and in addition uh, what's not shown here is we have a new column in uh, sys tables which saves the last time update statistics low was done on the table and the uh, number of uh, rows uh, we have a new column which says the number of rows in the table uh, the new column is of uh, type decimal type so that it can uh, hold uh, large number of uh, it can hold the value e even when the table has large number of rows okay uh, let's talk about the index self join access method one of the issues a lot of our uh, partners uh, face is they do not know the distribution of data when they create the schema when they decide the number of indices uh, they want so they create x number of indices based upon their best uh, approximation of the distribution uh, it's as you would guess it's not wise to create every co combination of uh, indices that are available to the DBA it's best to choose uh, uh, minimum number of uh, indices that can uh, give best performance not only for qu queries but also uh, additional index requires additional uh, storage additional uh, overhead in terms of uh, index update delete operations so in some cases when the uh, leading key when you have a composite index in this case um, uh, there's a we have index c1 c2 c3 when the leading key of the index or key or keys of the index for example the if the first key of the index happens to be uh, gender and the second key happens to be uh, division and the th third key is the uh, em employee id or customer id something to that effect in these cases the leading key are highly duplicate the, see if the c1 happens to be gender obviously it's uh, uh, it, it, it's got two, two values uh, it, it can store so the ro rows tend to be highly duplicate c2 if the customer uh, happens to have a less number of de departments then uh, n uh, again the c2 tends to be very uh, duplicate and then uniqueness comes in the uh, comes in the customer id or the employee id in the, in the third uh, third key so if you have a query like this when uh, C1 greater than equal to 1, C1 less than equal to 3. Uh, so the, the, this this means the you are pretty much covering the whole span of the uh, B3. So uh, so that means when uh, when we choose this particular index to evaluate this uh, query, we end up scanning pretty much. Uh, most of most pa part of the index even though we are trying to get to very very small number of ro rows in the end obviously that's not efficient so so you know, let me show you examples of uh, how this uh, index self join x is actually implemented so uh, this shows uh, how IDS uh, evaluated this query uh, in the prior releases so we basically use the filter c1 greater than equal to 1 c1 less than equal to uh, 3 as the start and the stop key for this index and scan the whole uh, index re region region so starting 